The pressure solenoid valve is a normally open solenoid valve. Inside a solenoid valve is a spring-loaded plunger with a hole in it. When the solenoid valve is de-energized, the spring pushes the plunger down so the hole lines up with the inlet and the outlet of the valve. When this valve is energized, the coil creates magnetism which pulls the plunger upward, closing the valve. Again, the solenoid valve is energized by the control or by the timer assembly on older units. Issues with solenoid valves typically originate when the operator of the fryer overfills the fry pot with oil. This can occur if the operator fills the fryer with cold oil to the upper fill line. As oil heats, this oil expands and rises above this hot fill level indicator. When pressure releases at the end of the cook cycle, some of this extra oil exhausts with the steam and can gum up the pressure solenoid along with the condensation box and drain line at the rear of the fryer. The customer will notice that at the end of the cooking cycle, pressure will be slow to release. In cases like this, the solenoid valve can be taken apart and cleaned, typically without removing it from the fryer on a forehead but it may be easier to loosen the compression nuts and take the whole assembly off on an 8-head fryer. I'll show the procedure for cleaning the solenoid valve on a 4-head fryer here, but you can use the same procedure to clean a solenoid valve on an 8-head fryer as well. Remove the clip at the top of the valve with a flat blade screwdriver. Then, on forehead fryers, you're going to need to loosen the conduit connecting the solenoid coil to the fryer, and then lift the coil off the bonnet and let this hang to the side. On an 8-head fryer, this has flexible conduit, so no need to loosen the conduit. Use an adjustable wrench and unscrew the bonnet. Carefully remove the plunger assembly, paying close attention to the order of the spring, spring retainer, and the pieces of that plunger assembly. Soak all of these components in degreaser for a few minutes, and then thoroughly clean each part to remove all oil residue. Remove the sticky oil residue from the inside of the bonnet as well. When reassembling the plunger, feel the edge of the blade Notice that one side is sharper than the other. Put this sharp side to the outlet of the valve and the smooth side toward the inlet. To insert the plunger, hold it at an angle and insert the blade between the disc spring and the valve seat and gently push. This causes these two components to separate. Insert the spring at the top of the plunger, putting the narrow side of the spring down. Cover the top of the spring with the spring retainer. Most of the time, no parts are needed for this procedure. However, we do have a solenoid valve rebuild kit to replace parts if excessively worn. If you notice that the valve leaks steam while the fryer is cooking, then it would be time to also replace the valve seat and the disc spring inside the valve. The valve will need to be removed to access these components. So one tip when inserting the valve seat is to gently push this in with the eraser end of a pencil as not to damage it. Replacement of the entire valve assembly would only be necessary where there is damage to the valve body. This valve gets tested before the annual inspection, but only taken apart and cleaned if the valve is sticking. You can test this solenoid by turning the fryer on and going into outputs test in tech mode.